What's good? It's your girl Tech Life Steph and it's time for the 60 second tech break breakdown. This week we were talking about group chat etiquette. If you have a smartphone and any friends whatsoever, you are probably part of a group chat and you probably hate it. But group chats are a very necessary and convenient way to communicate with a large number of people at once. So here are my top tips for group chat etiquette. The first one that we covered in the 60 second tech break this week was understand that group chat does not necessarily guarantee your privacy. There could be folks in the group chat that you don't know. Someone could screenshot, someone could show the group chat to someone else. There is always a way for that content to be shared outside of the chat. So make sure you are cool with what you're posting. And that leads me to my second tip. Don't add people to the group chat who don't know each other. Now, it might be necessary depending on the type of group, like if you have a group of bridesmaids that don't know each other, or it's a group project at school or work. However, if it's just a random group chat where you're sending out uh, motivational Monday quotes every day or something like that, but there's a bunch of phone numbers in there that most of the people won't recognize, you might want to let folks know that you're adding them to the chat or at least at the creation of the group chat, do a quick intro or let everybody know that you are the administrator of the chat and you're using it to forward motivational quotes, inspirational memes, whatever. It is a huge pet peeve of mine to get a random text message with a bunch of different phone numbers that I don't recognize and some random conversation around some random subject. So don't auto add me to the group chat. Next up, use the group chat for what it was intended for. If the chat is for a work-related project or a school project or bridesmaids or whatever, use it for that conversation only. Once you start going off on tangents and use another and having other conversations, it might be time to dissolve that group chat and start another one or message those, per those people one-on-one. -on -one. And speaking of one-on-one, -on -one, don't use the group chat to have a whole conversation with just one person. Everybody in the group chat doesn't need to get a notification every time you ping one specific person, especially if it turns into a long thread. Take that conversation offline and message that person privately. And do your best to limit the number of people in the group chat. No one wants to get a thousand notifications and see a thousand replies because there are 50 different people in the chat who all have something to say. One of the other tips I gave in the 60 second tech break was to reply during normal waking hours. You don't know how many notifications I get from group chats, messages at 5.30 a.m. or 11.30 p.m. or 2 a.m. or whatever. Just because that's the time you have to respond to the group chat doesn't mean that everybody is ready to get a notification at that time. And for whatever reason, some people have to have their notifications enabled throughout the day and they don't want to be getting notifications at 2 a.m. just because you found a funny meme. So have a little bit of respect for the rest of the folks in the group chat and reply between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. Unless, of course, you're coordinating sunrise yoga or something like that. And this next tip goes for group chats or with anything, check the message before you hit send. There is a lot of context that can get lost in a group chat and you never know who you might offend with your messages. So make sure that they read the way you want them to read and convey the information the way you want it to be conveyed. Limit the one word replies if possible. That's just rude. And if you're chatting via iPhone, you can use the iPhone reactions now to LOL something, to applaud something, to love something. So that's a easier and more efficient way to respond to a group chat than actually sending another message. Well, those were some of my tips for good group chat etiquette, but I'd love to hear some of yours. Leave me a comment below. Definitely like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.